Oh, martial arts. Difference between a martial artist and a fighter. I'm going to break down the difference between a martial artist and a fighter. And I'm going to give an example on a certain fighter who is a fighter and certain martial artist who is a martial artist and so forth. Um, okay, a martial artist to me, in my opinion, this is from my perspective you now. I mean, it could be different for somebody else. But to me, a martial artist is somebody with respect, with discipline, honor, um, have respect for others, um, have a heart, you know, will go to the way to help somebody else, have the love, compassion for others. Um, from basically what you eat, from taking care of your environment. Martial arts, martial artists is for self-defense. So a martial artist won't look for a fight. They will only use a technique for self-defense reasons or to help somebody. You know, that's basically it. A martial artist will train every day or every other day regardless of if he is a competitor or he's training for an event he just train for the love of the art so he get up every morning might do a couple push-ups might do some meditation might work some combination kicking some punching you know might do some forms might even do some weapons so a martial artist trains and practices regardless of the situation if he has to compete or have an event he just work off for the love of the art that's a martial artist right a fighter no a fighter is somebody who basically just trains to fight and a fighter might sometime might be in a brawl or might sometimes look for a fight right can a martial artist be a fighter yeah martial artists can be a fighter martial arts can train to fight but then it all comes on to the person you are now you have to understand what kind of person you are because a martial artist trains like a sniper or should train like a sniper where they pinpoint their technique for for one shot to um, take out your opponent so usually there's not like 20 punches 20 kicks before your opponent is down it usually takes one or two right so that's how a martial artist train a fighter might sometimes be in a brawl and slug it out and you know just doesn't care if he gets hit or not a martial artist will do the hitting and not get hit that's how a martial artist train to do the hitting and not get hit right as I said a martial artist can be a fighter but then usually when a martial artist is a fighter he has to adjust you know to the fight because if you are not a fighter from heart because you have people out there who are just fighters who are the sluggers if you're not that kind of a person and you're trying to be like that and just put all your eggs in one basket and just be a fighter that's when you get knocked out or you get injured because that's not you like some prime example of a martial artist, George St. Pierre. He's a martial artist. If you notice, in when he just started the UFC, he was more like striking, but his striking was more of a kind of like a brawling in a sense. Like he would be more pushing and brawling in a sense until he got knocked out. And then he revert back to you know just picking his shots and implemented takedowns the wrestling in his game 
because he knew that that brawling aspect is not for him it doesn't work for him you know my Tyson is a fighter <laughs> you know, my Tyson is a fighter you know, it just stays in the pocket and he slugs it out and usually he gets the knockout so, so my Tyson is definitely a fighter you know so I'm giving you two versions of what a martial artist and a fighter is there is a discipline aspect of both the respect and the honor of both as well as the competitive side of it so as I said martial artists usually for self-defense purposes and a fighter usually trains just to fight martial artist has a discipline and the honor fighter most of the time they don't have no discipline and no honor they just fight and that's it right martial artists will not get into a brawl or get into a slug match because a martial artist is usually a technician they usually pinpoint the shots get their shots in and get out without getting hit that's the purpose of it fighter will stay in the pocket and slug it out and don't care if you get hit or not you know so that's that's the difference i'm giving you two aspects of it to the discipline and the honor the respect and the fighting part of it where there's a tech technician technical part of the martial arts a fighter usually doesn't implement any technical aspect really they're just going for the kill and again as i said a martial artist can be a fighter right and a fighter can be a martial artist so remember that but you have to adjust there's an adjustment that you have to do and when i mentioned i said george st pierre he had to make adjustments you know because he was trying to be a slugger didn't that didn't work for him Mashida, Loyola Mashida is a martial artist, you know, and as you see how he fights, he pinpoint his shots, pick his shots. If he slugs in the middle, he, most likely with a with a with a um fighter, he's gonna get knocked out, like his fight with Shogun, you know. So he has to pick his shots and move around, and use his martial arts discipline. You know, it just depends on the kind of person you are too. Is it just the person, you know? You know, as I said, the person is what makes up the style. Style don't really make the person. I mean, you can do all different techniques or whatever you want, but it all comes down to the person that's doing that art. You know what I'm saying? So, Anderson Silva, he's a martial artist, but then he's a fighter too. You know, so he can get in there and grind it out with you, with punches, 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 and kind of stay in there and then brawl it out. But then he can adjust because he practiced different kind of techniques, you know, like for the Muay Thai, the boxing. So he practiced different things. So he's able to adjust to that situation. So he's as well as a fighter, as a martial artist. So he can be in the middle line the shots in and stay in there and then get out so you just have to know what kind of person you are if you're a martial artist if you're a brawler if you're a fighter same thing similar you know you just have to know what kind of person you are before you enter into a situation you know do you, are you a person that can stay in the pocket and just throw shots <laughs> You know, and just stay in there and just just go wild and you know just try to get a knockout. Or are you that person that look for the opening, kind of like a Floyd Mayweather? Floyd Mayweather, I would say, is a martial artist because a martial artist in the fighting sense of the martial arts, like that defensive kind of countering, staying on the outside. Martial artists on the discipline aspect, mm, not so much, but on that 
part where he's using as a defensive countering. I would say he's kind of like a martial artist there.